There is a collection of ghost towns in New Mexico unlike anywhere else, the ghosts of Route 66. The highway, which became one of the most famous roads in America, originally ran from Chicago, Illinois to Los Angeles, California, covering a total of 2,448 miles. It was recognized in popular culture by both a hit song and the Route 66 television show. With the completion of the nation's interstate system in 1985, Route 66 was officially removed from the United States highway system. Route 66 is known for a lot of ghost towns, but there's a stretch in New Mexico that has three in particular, Montoya, Newkirk, and Cuervo, that uh, kind of attract my interest. They were established around the early 1900s, 1901, 1902, mainly as ranching communities, but more so because of the railroad pushing through. So by the time Route 66 came in, uh, these towns, while they boomed, never really boomed. Maybe 300 residents tops during their heydays. Uh, but what intrigues me is that just with a few residents, uh, several gas stations, several hotels would service the Route 66 travelers, and what remains today are a lot of the ghosts of the, you know, of those former buildings. So that stretch of New Mexico really intrigues me. Paralleling I-40, a good paved road, an historic portion of Route 66 still connects the three ghost towns. Traveling from the east, one first encounters Montoya. This stretch of Route 66 through these three towns, uh, when you drive through, you can, you can feel the heyday that was once there during Route 66. Uh, in fact, in Montoya, it once, you know, it once took 30 minutes just to cross the road. Now there may be a car every 30 minutes, period, along the highway that's abandoned. And there's, and there's plenty of old buildings still there, um, the old post offices, the gas stations that still remain. Um, long gone, uh, no longer in business, but still there as a testament to the better times of Route 66 before the interstate pushed through. The real gem of the trio is the westernmost town of Cuervo. A town for sale, Cuervo began in 1901 when the railroad pushed through this well-traveled route. The town grew as cattle ranching flourished 10 years later. Then Route 66 came and the town's population peaked at over 300 souls. When the interstate came through town, literally right through the middle of it, ripping up roads and tearing down houses, Cuervo couldn't survive, and so it just died. Even if you are not a ghost town fancier, Cuervo is a must stop. It's right off I-40, no side trip necessary. The living side of the town, if you could call it that, is on the north side of the interstate. And on the south side, there is one of the best ghost photo ops in the state. A town with buildings in various states of decay. You'll find a church, a school, and many houses. You'll find an outhouse, a basketball court, and some old cars. It's possible that this is the best ghost town in the country that is both genuine and easily accessible. It's a treasure. A treasure like all the other ghost towns of New Mexico. Places where you can experience life from another time in the American West. Hi, I'm Bill Ambrose. If you like this video, subscribe so we can bring you more programming from our studio. Thank you for subscribing.